I switched to an October caddis dry fly and I was fishing downstream of a tree that had fallen in the water, making for a nice... Oh, jeez! That's a good fish, Steve. Come on, fish with Latin and you'll have some fun. And some fly in Alaska on the wall you can or catch some trout and salmon in good old Washington. Fishing with Latin, casting with Latin, man, that's a lot of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the famous Rock Creek in Montana. We caught a beautiful day in October. We're here with our friend Larry Hardy. We're expecting a great day of fishing. Stick around. It was a beautiful day in early October as we headed into Rock Creek. We were enjoying the amazing scenery as well as the fall colors. We made it to the river and began to fish. I was about 100 yards downstream of Larry when this happened. Oof. Woo! <laughs> oh. Ouch. Okay, that kind of hurt a little bit. I turned my ankle, <laughs> Just went talking down. About that. Uh, got weight, water down my dang waders, but fortunately it's a nice warm day. Should be all right. So I was bragging to Larry and Steve earlier how I got new wading boots and how I'm going to be sure-footed out there, and I hadn't fallen for quite a while anyway. So uh, I wouldn't recommend bragging because pride always comes before the fall, and that was a fall. So we have a... Uh... Pretty quick riffle here and a seam on the opposite side. I'm gonna put a cast over to the opposite side and then you need to put a mend on it to keep it in the seam. So we'll try and get it out there. So that gets it across and then you need to give it a little upstream mend to keep it going through that little seam nice and slow. There's Sean, there we go. That's a good one there. Ah, nice. Good call. That is, that is perfect right over there. Look at that. Oh, that is a nice fish. Well, we had to start somewhere. <laughs> Yes. Look at that little cut. Cool. Very nice. Yeah. Nice fight. Yeah, and just sitting over in that little seam on the far edge over there, you told me to go get it over there and that's where he was. I did have one little strike in the, in the middle, but it was a tiny fish. That one hit right straight across there. You know, we couldn't tell what kind of fish that was. We, we picked three or four versions. We thought it was a white fish at the very beginning, uh, but the fight was not like a white fish would fight, and we finally realized we had a little cutthroat in there. I switched to an October caddis dry fly, and I was fishing downstream of a tree that had fallen in the water, making for a nice current break. Oh, jeez, that's a good fish, Steve. Wow. That was a nice hit. Came out of the water hard. It's a good fish too. Yeah, he's on the October caddis. Yeah. That's a good one. That's so much fun. I cast some, looks, is that a, brown or rainbow. It cast right off this little log I had a hit earlier and right at the tip of that log is where that thing came up and hit. That down tree. I think it's a brown. Yep. Yeah it's a nice beautiful brown trout. Very colored. Wow. All right. Yeah that was fun. Great take. It just came up and just torpedo on it. Beautiful. Fantastic fish. <laughs> Again, it was just right off this down tree. 
and right in you can see a little bit of darker water out there and uh, that's where it hit and just came up and exploded on it really nice fish that was on the emerger up oh. that was an attack mm, this looks pretty good I hope another there's nice some fish bend. around yeah for sure yeah I think I might, uh, I haven't seen anything rise, but maybe dry fly this water. Yeah, definitely. And I got a dry dropper. I'm going to go ahead and jump okay. up on that inside seam that up looks there. looks really good. Yeah. All right, good luck. Okay, you too. Thanks. Little guy. Very cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a nice take. I think you hit the uh, October caddis. Well, maybe a little bigger than I thought. He's, he's pulling pretty good. Look, look pretty small. Eight, nine, ten incher, maybe something like that. Rainbow, I think. On the October caddis, nice fish. Some nice cutthroat. There you go. I thought I'd try the grassy bank as well. Oh, one, yeah, it's a, it's a good one. Ah, not bad. It's not super big, but it's decent. Oh yeah, it's a good one. What am I saying? It's a lot nicer than I thought. It's a big rainbow, I think. It's a good fish. Yeah, it's a big rainbow. Yeah, it's a really nice fish. Yeah. Oh boy. Man. Let him get in the fast water. Okay. Got a lot of coaches here. Oh boy, it's a beauty. Uh oh. Oh man. Look at that guy. Ah, don't make me nervous, guys. Oh my gosh, it's a big fish. I, I thought I heard someone say it's a small fish. <laughs> oh man, just a big brute of a rainbow. Look at that. <laughs> Well, that was fantastic. It was a gorgeous fish. That was phenomenal. Yeah. That was right up against that bank over there. And it just, I saw my dry fly go down. I set the hook and I could feel the head shake and just a beautiful, beautiful rainbow. Yeah, that was a nice take. He took you for a ride too. Yeah, if he would have gotten that water, I would have been in a lot of trouble. But thanks to yours and Steve's coaching, <laughs> managed to keep it up here. And... Our harassment, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can say that too, but I'm glad you did. It worked out. Good. Great fish. Yeah, it was. As the evening was closing in, we decided to begin our hike out. You can probably see on camera that moose is just munching away. It's getting towards evening. Time to come out and feed. And uh, it looks like it's eating on a willow. Pretty cool stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the show today. I know we had a great time. Please join us next week for more Fishing with Ladin. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Ladin. Because we're having fun catching fish. Hey folks, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.